2025. It's been a fairly significant year for the Finnish Navy and its upcoming Pohjanmaa-class corvette. The first of these ships was launched in May, while construction of the third began in August. So in this video, let's look at this program, its progress, and what is known thus far, including ship specifications and capabilities, project timeline, and project cost. And so, as explained by the website of the Finnish Defence Forces, the Pohjanmaa-class multi-role corvettes are new combat vessels capable of effectively conducting a wide range of naval tasks at sea all year round. The name Pohjanmaa is a region in western Finland. It looks like four corvettes have been ordered and they are being or will be constructed at the Rauma shipyard, to be commissioned in phases between 2027 to 2029. The intention is that the new vessels will be in the service until the 2050s. An old webpage noted that the vessels were to be delivered to the Defence Forces in 2023 to 2025, so we can see that things are behind schedule. Taking a step back to the origin of the order, we can see that the ships are the result of Finland's Squadron 2020 naval project, the project's aim is to replace seven vessels that have been or will be decommissioned by the Navy. More specifically, FNS Poyanma, a mine layer decommissioned in 2015, four Rauma-class fast attack missile craft, and two Hemenma-class mine layers. With Squadron 2020 launched in 2015, an investment decision was taken in 2019, although the Poyanma name was assigned in 2017. Squadron 2020 was stated to have a cost of 1.23 billion euros. The steel cutting of the first ship took place in October 2023, while the keel of this first corvette was laid in April 2024. And as we noted at the introduction, the ship was launched in May 2025. And continuing to look at old announcements, we can see that Swedish defense firm Saab received an order in September 2019 to provide and integrate combat systems for the vessels. The order value was stated to be 412 million euros. Per the official Saab press release, the contract includes, among other things, Saab's Combat Management System, or 9LV, and Saab's radars Sea Giraffe 4A Fixed Face and Sea Giraffe 1X. The communication system Tactical, as well as the remote weapon station Trackfire, are also included in the contract. Saab said that it would carry out the work for this order in Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Australia and South Africa. And then through a 2024 announcement, we know that Finnish firm Patria has been contracted to provide support for project management, engineering and other expertise support. Patria was also awarded a contract for the design and delivery of new anti-submarine warfare or ASW sonars through Saab. We can also see that the firm Exhale was contracted to provide the ships with the Marin's M3 Inertial Navigation System or INS and Shock Mount Protection Systems. These were delivered in March 2025. And so what else do we know about the capabilities and specifications of these ships? Well, the website NavalTechnology.com explains that the warships will be 114 meters long, with a beam of 16 meters and a draft of 5 meters. The corvette displacement is 3,900 tons. Each ship will be operated by a crew of 70 people, while accommodation facilities will be available for up to 120 staff members. The stern side of the hull will contain a flight deck for a single helicopter or multiple uncrewed aerial vehicles and there will also be a hangar facility on board for these aircraft. A Beaufort's 57mm naval gun will be the main weapon installed on the bow deck, and each vessel will feature two trackfire remote weapon stations with small, medium and heavy machine guns, automatic grenade launchers, and lightweight medium-caliber cannons. Air defense consists of the ITO-20 surface-to-air missile system, which will integrate MK-41 vertical launchers for firing 32 evolved Sea Sparrow missiles. Each corvette will also be armed with eight Gabriel-5 surface-to-surface or anti-ship missiles. All of these weapons make the corvettes a versatile and capable class of surface combatants while having the ability to lay mines and command naval operations. 
In fact, it's stated by the Navy that these multi-role corvettes will bring about changes in the Navy's operating doctrine as well, enabling use of fire against ground targets, enhanced generation of the real-time situation picture, more extensive cooperation with the Defense Force's other units, and more efficient capability to detect and engage subsurface targets. The vessels are capable of sustained operations in the Baltic Sea in all weather conditions, regardless of how much ice there is. So, that's your basic introduction to Finland's future multi-role corvettes and their current status. What do you think of these ships? Let us know by leaving a comment.